The traditional manufacturing process is using mechanical fasteners to join the aircraft assemblies. It usually takes hundreds of fasteners. It's time consuming, it's higher weight. However, this technology will require no fasteners, no additional materials. We just weld the part directly to each other, create a lightweight solution. And we do that primarily through robotic automation. The reason why we're using the robot arm is because it allows us to program very precise and very repeatable tool paths in order to perform these welding operations. We can accommodate a wide variety of different geometries, different thicknesses of panels, different compositions of panels. And so we're able to leverage that flexibility of the robot to exert forces where a human operator may not have been able to do so. You solve a whole lot of problems within the aerospace industry when you make your aircraft lighter. It increases the fuel efficiency, it decreases the logistical strain of moving those parts around and getting the actual aircraft built, basically changing a bunch of components that used to be you know, either aluminum or some other alloy into a thermoplastic panel you're able to get quite a lot of weight savings and then that sort of grows to affect the total cost of the entire operation. The robot process will provide automation for the welding, so it will provide consistent quality and we can optimize the speed by the rapid assembly process. Currently, they make these panels usually in very large formats and if we can reduce that from a singular piece into a bunch of disparate pieces that can be joined through a series of joining processes we can streamline that process quite a lot and so that gives you more flexibility in order to you know process it a little bit more safely more quickly and to be able to catch any sort of defects in that part in a piecewise manner it's lower cost and the material can be recycled so it provides sustainability as well. I think this is a critical enabling technology for this material to be adopted in the aerospace industry.